How many of you made resolutions for the coming year, for 2015? How many? How many? No one did. I'm the shocked. The overachiever did. <laughs> the Jedi in the room did? Yeah. Come on, folks, no resolutions? Wow, wow. Well, how many have dreams? I mean, really? Oh, we all do. All right. We all do, right? How many of you are acting on your dreams right now? I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Well, at this point in my life, I believe, I, I, I've, learned, I've learned that I have to act on my dreams. I've seen people without hope and without dreams. It's not a pretty picture. Have you seen people without hope and dreams? They're existing. They're not living. I choose to live. And so I better get on my dreams, right? Otherwise, why is life worth living? What I'd like to do today is to give you a path for achieving your dreams. Something that's age-old wisdom, something that I've known about, but sometimes I have to remind myself. I'm kind of at low tide in my life. And at that point, I have to seize a day this year to, to bring things into my life that I want. I also am a Jedi. I forgot my life state. But I, <laughs> I also like to play basketball. I missed out on some of this action here. I'm, I'm very jealous. This is kind of a really cool club here. First of all, I think that we all have the power to achieve our dreams. I really believe that. We live in one of the great countries of the world. And I believe in America, even though we're stressed as a country in many different ways, this is still the land of opportunity in making your dreams happen. The problem is how do you do it? I'm going to give you a quick and dirty way. And in doing so, I'm going to energize myself. That's what I do. I give talks to energize myself at certain times of my life. I believe I believe that you know, we have the ability within ourselves. I believe our consciousness reach out and touch and connect with others. Connect with a universal mind, like the force, maybe. I believe the people who have been successful that I have, I have followed have, have taught me these, these kind of basic principles. Do you have a dream? Can you write it down? First of all, write it down. Articulate it in a few words. Then build a picture. Can you build a mental image of you achieving that dream? Something that's significant to you? That's another start. Build that picture. Build it. Just think about well, how you do it. Are you seeing yourself with a basketball? Doing something great? Are you seeing yourself achieve a job that you want? Are you seeing yourself with a significant other that you want? Are you seeing yourself writing checks for a million dollars to something? Picture what, what, what you want. It's very important. Subconscious so mind, when you it responds to pictures, to images, then you've got to bring an emotional content to that, an excitement, an energetic content. Some of the shamans of, of, of native tribes use this, use this, the emotional impact of trying to create their own reality. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to create your own reality. Now, you can believe that we're just prone to the chaos of life, that we don't have control, but we are powerful beings. We really are. And we can influence the, the affairs in our life to our benefit and to those who love us. We can do it in a negative way, too. We're focusing on the positive things here. So once you build this picture and you energize the excitement, there's another component, two more components. One is, at, at, when you're at, at night, I am thankful. I give thanks for all the wonderful things that I have. We take them for granted, right? I have clean water. I turn on the power, it works. I have a family. I live in a house. I have to be very thankful. I'm also thankful that my goal has been achieved. Thank you for this. You know, I, I give thanks for the goal I am trying to achieve like it already exists. Because gratitude is a universal power. Once you give gratitude, you, you develop a law of attraction that was referenced here before to attract good things to you. But I'm going to ask you to do one more thing. One more thing. You know, when you have resolutions, those are fine and dandy for the new year. But you have to perturb your life somehow. How are you perturbing your life? Are you changing your routine to, to, to grow a new groove in your life? Like for me, I'm a writer. So I'm looking at a new writing project. Am I getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning to write for a few hours before I start my day? I haven't been. I'm a night person. But I need this downshift. I need to perturb my daily life. 
to contribute to that goal. Am I networking? Have I joined a networking club to network with the powers that be in the triangle that might help me to that next job? Am I learning some new skill that could bring fortune or a new, a new enterprise into my life? You have to perturb your daily life. And that may be just meditating on, on your goal every day in a, in a very strong, intense way. We have to change your daily life somehow. I have, was around people this week. I, uh, meeting of people that I called together from around the country. Some of the people had given up. They're my age. They'd given up. They said, I've lived my life. I've made millions. I've lost millions. And their health was deteriorating. Mm -hmm. And they said, they're going to just wait around to die. I go, I can't have that. That is not what I live for. That is not the way I, I should live my life. Then there are some people that said, well, we have the power to change our life. I respond more to those kind of people. And I realize how important dreams are and hope. Where there is no hope and no dreams, you don't have much of a life. That's always been true in, the human, in humankind. People in concentration camps, even in World War II, some of them had hopes and dreams. They, they're the ones that made it through it. Some didn't. So in summary, the four points for making your goal come to life. Write it down or make a picture animate that picture with emotion. Be thankful for it. Gratitude, like it's a reality. And you can make it a reality. And four, perturb your life somehow, in some, sh in some small fashion to make it happen. So, in 2015, let's work on those resolutions that none of you made. <laughs> but more importantly, let's work on those dreams. <laughs>